Gracias a todos nuestros patrocinadores. Thank you to all of our sponsors. This project partially funded by Kentucky Humanities and the National Endowment of Humanities. Any views, findings, conclusions, or recommendations expressed in this program do not necessarily represent those of the National Endowment of the Humanities or Kentucky Humanities. Hola, buenos dias. Me llamo Joseph. Buenos días, me llamo Nico y mi amigo Joseph y yo vamos a pasar este verano en casa. Yeah, this summer definitely seems like a staycation. But don't worry, there are plenty of ways to make memories while we're staying safe and healthy at home. Absolutely. Your own home can be a place where you can imagine and create amazing things and have multiple adventures en casa. That's what Nico and I are here for, to bring the adventures to your home. But first, let's go over the house rules. Las reglas de la casa. Make sure that you have enough space to move around. Asegúrate que tengas espacio para moverte. Sing and dance with us. Canta y baila con nosotros. Get ready to imagine amazing things. Prepárate para imaginar cosas increíbles. And don't forget your family. Always let them in on the fun. Y no olvides a tu familia. Todos son bienvenidos. ¿Estás listo? Estoy listo. I'm ready. Bienvenidos a Adventures en Casa. All right, Nico, time for a check-in. How are you doing? I am doing great because, look, I did a tiger using modeling clay as paint. No way! That's modeling clay? It looks so real. It's like it's going to jump right off the page. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's plastilina. Look, this is how I did it. You grab a little piece of modeling clay and your plastilina, and you spread it like this. You put it in there, and you spread it with your fingers like this. And once it blends all in, it starts to look like paint. <laughs> that is so cool, Nico. And it looks terrific. Honestly, it needs to be part of a museum. Oh, well, thank you, Joseph. Muchas gracias. But how are you doing? Well, Nico, after last week's craft of a paper boat, I've been journaling about all the things I love about going to the lake. <clears throat> uh -huh. Well, number one, I love going tubing with my family. <clears throat> number two, I love accidentally flying <laughs> off the tube backwards. And number three, I love climbing back on and trying again. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Plus, a boat is a perfect place to break out into song. Aye, matey, are you ready for a sea shanty? A shanty? Uh, that's a song in pirate speak. Arr! Oh, clar, okay, see. <laughs> you might need to dust off those peg legs and stand up for this one, me boy. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? Now that was pretty fast. Yes. I'll do it a little bit slower. <laughs> Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? 
have you, Nico? I'm not sure I know what that is. Oh, that's okay. Let me explain. A long-legged sailor, easy peasy. All you'd have to do to be a long-legged sailor is get up on your tiptoes. Oh. So try it with me. All the way up on your tiptoes. Now here's how the game works. Every time I sing the word long, you have to get up on your tiptoes. Oh. Like this. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged knife? <laughs> Excellent job, you all. In case you got your legs, let's try that again. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? Excellent. Now, there's not just long-legged sailors. Listen carefully. Have you? Ever, ever, ever in your short-legged life seen a short-legged sailor with a short-legged wife? Okay, we've got two types. We've got long-legged and we've got short-legged. Listen carefully. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? Have you ever, ever, ever in your short-legged life seen a short-legged sailor with a short-legged <laughs> Excellent job. Now, sometimes you might see a knock-kneed sailor with a knock-kneed wife. Let's try that one. Have you ever, ever, ever in your knock-kneed life seen a knock-kneed sailor with a knock-kneed wife? Excellent job. And the last one is my favorite. It's a no-legged sailor. You might think, how can I do a no-legged sailor? Just watch. Have you ever, ever, ever in your no-legged life seen a no-legged sailor with a no-legged wife? <laughs> Whew, I'm almost out of breath. It's time to put them all together. Here we go. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? Have you ever, ever, ever in your short-legged life short-legged sailor with a short-legged wife? Have you ever, ever, ever in your knock-kneed life seen a knock-kneed sailor with a knock-kneed wife? Have you ever, ever, ever in your no-legged life seen a no-legged sailor with a no-legged wife? <laughs> Whew, take a second, catch your breath. My goodness. Okay, it's time to try it. A little bit faster. Oh. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? Have you ever, ever, ever in your short-legged life seen a short-legged sailor with a short-legged wife? Have you ever, ever, ever in your not me life seen a not me sailor with a not me wife? Have you ever, ever, ever in your no-legged life seen a no-legged sailor with a no-legged wife? Uh. Excellent job! Oh, that was so fun, Joseph. Me encanta. Great job. <laughs> Gracias, Nico. <laughs> this is reminding me of my abuelo. Your grandpa? Was he? A long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> but my abuelo was a Marine in the Navy of Colombia. No way! <laughs> yes way! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> yeah, he is the best. Él es el mejor. And every time I went to his house, we would play with boat toys and sing a song called El Barquito. Aww, El Barquito, the little boat. Exacto. Okay, I'm ready. Teach it to me. Oh, I don't know. But what? Please? I'm just not sure. But you're so good at songs. Oh yes, that is true. But, but I don't know. Maybe. Please, I'm begging you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Está bien. <laughs> yes. <laughs> y dice así. Había una vez un barco chiquitito, había una vez un barco chiquitito, había una vez un barco chiquitito, tan chiquito y tan chiquito que no podía navegar. 
<laughs> so this song is saying that once upon a time there was a very small boat. He was so small, so tiny that he couldn't move. So we say that three times. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. So the first time, we're going to look around for the boat. Towards our right. The second time around, we look for the boat with our left. Ooh. And because we haven't found it, the third time around, we're going to take our binoculars. And we're going to look for it one third time. The next part, it says, tan chiquito, tan chiquito. So we show that it's so small, so tiny, that he couldn't move around. And in that section, we move around, jump around. Que no podía navegar. Got it? So we searched with our right hand. First time, había una vez un barco chiquitito. For the second time, left. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Third time, binoculars. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Tan chiquito, tan chiquito, que no podía navegar. Ready to do it with me? Yes, let's go! Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Tan chiquito y tan chiquito que no podía navegar. That's awesome. And you know what's even awesome, more awesome, is that there's a second part to the song. Y dice así. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Tan chiquito y tan chiquito que no podía nada. So this second part, what it's saying is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks passed. And because this boat is so small and so tiny, he didn't move. So we repeat that three times. We say, pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pero era tan chiquito, tan chiquito, que no podía navegar. Do you want to try that one part with me? Awesome. Let's go. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Tan chiquito y tan chiquito que no podía navegar. Awesome. So, now we put the two parts together. So, remember, we begin with, había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Tan chiquito, tan chiquito que no podía navegar. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Tan chiquito, tan chiquito que no podía navegar. Woo! And that's the whole song. <laughs> Let's try it. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un barco chiquitito. Tan chiquito y tan chiquito que no podía navegar. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, 
dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Tan chiquito y tan chiquito que no podía navegar. Wow. <laughs> you guys did it. We did it. <laughs> The cool breeze over the water is so refreshing. Mm, see. Did you know that 72% of the world is covered in water? What? All of that water? Well, then there must be so many incredible things underneath the surface. I know, and I'd love to see all of those things. You know what? It is definitely time to transform este barquito into a submarino. Wait, how? Nico, this is our adventure and casa. We can do anything. <laughs> Listo? Si. Sí. Whoa! That is so awesome! <laughs> I can't believe the boat is really turning into a submarine! Look I at it go! It. Yes! <laughs> this is amazing! Look outside into the ocean! There's a whole new world. <laughs> In the town where I was born lived a man who sailed to sea and he told us of his life in the land of submarines. Wow! Mira, Joseph! Un delfín, a dolphin! Escúchalo! Escucha al delfín reír! <laughs> <laughs> so we sailed up to the sun till we found a sea of green and we lived beneath the waves in our yellow submarine. Oh my gosh, Nico, it's a whole school of fish. Look at their cute little tails. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish. <laughs> we all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. We we all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. <laughs> I love this song, and do you know, Joseph, we also know this song in Spanish. <laughs> Mis amigos van allí, todos estarán junto a mí, y la banda va a tocar. Oh, I can hear the band! Oh my gosh, they're underwater! <laughs> Amarillo el submarino es Y todos aquí vivimos en él Amarillo el submarino es Y todos aquí vivimos en él <laughs> Hay muchas cosas increíbles en el mar Escucha yeah, let's listen to all the underwater sounds. Wait, I think I hear a squid swimming by. Oh my gosh, it's a mermaid. A mermaid? I've always wanted to see one. The Loch Ness Monster. Ah! Oh, it's not evil, is it? Is that an old lady? Yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Amarillo el submarino es, y todos aquí vivimos en él. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Amarillo el submarino es. Wow, Joseph, que divertido. That was so much fun. And you know, all these amazing sounds 
of the ocean, it just reminded me that when you are telling a story, sound can be used to help an audience imagine all sorts of amazing things. Listening to the sounds is like pretending you're in a whole new world. Like <laughs> if you're in a submarine under the ocean. Exacto! And that's why it's an element of theater, creating a new world with sound. <laughs> en el teatro se pueden usar los sonidos para crear una escena. Por ejemplo, for example, en las calles de Nueva York podemos oír los carros y mucha gente. Escucha. You're right. All the cars honking and people talking sounds just like New York City. I feel like I'm right there. I'd like a coffee, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm on my way to work. <laughs> I remember when we went to the zoo, El Zoológico, and we heard <laughs> all sorts of amazing animal sounds. Yes. Listen, listen. There was los leones, los micos, <laughs> y mis preferidos, los elefantes. <gasps> oh, ya sé. Imagina que estamos en una nave espacial. A spaceship. Y sobre la nave están muchos extraterrestres. There's so many aliens. <laughs> Sounds can take you to so many different places. Okay, Nico, I've got a game we can play where we create our own sounds to make an impossibly cool machine. It's called the never-ending echo machine <laughs> everyone at home can play too here's how it works imagine that your body is part of a machine pick a part of your body and think of what sound it might make then because it's the never-ending echo machine! Echo, echo, echo! Machine, machine! <laughs> Keep on repeating that sound over and over. Let's try some for an example. First, make a machine with your arms. Haz una máquina con tus brazos! <laughs> Excellent! Y'all are coming up with great sounds. Okay, now make a machine with your leg. Ahora, haz una máquina con tus piernas. Excellent! See if you can imagine a machine with your head. Imagina una máquina con tu cabeza. <laughs> really nice job! <laughs> Okay, now comes the fun part. If we put the pieces of the machine together, we'll create the craziest machine in the world. Okay, entonces ahora Joseph y yo vamos a poner todas las piezas diferentes de nuestras máquinas, las vamos a poner juntas y creer una máquina grande, increíble. <laughs> Everyone in your family is welcome. The more people, the crazier the machine. Let's get started. Todos son bienvenidos. Acuérdate que con tu familia también puedes jugar. Entre más piezas de la máquina, mucho más creativo puedes estar. You know, Nico, Lake Cumberland is a great place to go, but I can't believe all the things we got to do today in our adventures in Casa. 
it, it has been a great day. And I've been thinking about my favorite sounds of the summer, like crickets chirping at night or the wind blowing through the trees. And my old time favorite, fireworks at the Latino festival. I love fireworks, especially on the 4th of July. Yes. Well, you know, I won't be able to go this year, but if we can make sound effects for the never-ending Echo Machine. Echo! 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 echo, echo, echo. Machine! <laughs> machine! Machine! <laughs> well, then we can definitely imagine Los Cohetes! <laughs> <laughs> you know that's right. <laughs> Well, muchas gracias a todos por compartir otro día con nosotros. Thank you all for joining in the fun. I can't wait until next week when we have even more Adventures in Casa. We'll see you next week. Feliz semana. Adios. Have a great week. <laughs>